Shea Bear 1000 here. Let's check out this steel chainsaw, figure out what's wrong with it. Okay guys, so in the last video I was talking about this saw a little bit and um, there's a story that goes with it. Got this saw cheap. Uh, the guy said he used it one day, next day it wouldn't start. Now he sounded like he knew a little bit about, you know, what's going on with these things and, you know, how to mix them and all that. And uh, he said uh, he thought it was a plug. He didn't have a plug to put in it, but he had another saw. So he took the spark plug out of his other saw, stuck in here, wouldn't start. He took the plug that that was in this put it in his other saw and it fired right up so his other saw would run on both spark plugs so he just put the plug back in this and said I ain't gonna mess with it um, I put a little fuel in it I pulled it a couple times he's right it won't it won't uh, doesn't act like well doesn't act like anything it won't start here I'll show you what I'm talking about here. All right. Get you down here. Okay, now I did put a little fuel in there. Didn't have much in it, but I added a little bit more. Okay, so not doing anything. It's not firing. So I think we should pull the spark plug out and the first thing is check for spark. Okay, That's what I'm guessing because I'm smelling fuel you know but it's not even trying to run. So let's get you down here to where you can get a good look at this thing and the spark plug is right under this. So we're going to take this off and I'll show you how to do that. Let me get you down here where you can see a little bit better. Okay, so this, all you got to do, turn it a quarter turn. Make sure you're all the way on choke so this comes out real easy. Uh, it's a little dirty. Not bad. I mean, I'm, I've seen worse. Uh, the filter, eh, I could probably use one, but I don't see this causing any issues. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to pull the spark plug out and see. Hmm. Well, that was on there, but it wasn't on there good. Alright, you guys see that because I don't know what you can see on. Let me get my glasses on here. There's the there's the spark plug wire, it comes directly from the coil. This wasn't on there very good at all. Um these just get put on there and they get screwed on. Kind of like I showed you if you guys watched the the video of my bike, my four-wheeler these just get screwed on now this could be an issue but usually that's the first thing I'll check a spark where's my tester let me grab my tester If I can get this to work on here. This is light. You can use a test light too. Um, but 
that on there. This doesn't check the spark plug, but it does check the coil for spark. So let's see. Can't hold this thing. You guys see that? Alright. I see a spark. I'll bet you that's all that was wrong with this thing. Now he told me that because I can see fuel down in the carburetor. I don't know if you can see it down in there. See it's wet. So it is getting fuel. Uh, whether it's getting the right amount, I don't know. This guy stopped by. He sees me out here working on this stuff all the time. He asked me what I charge. Well, first, you know, what I charge to work on them. I told him, you know, it just all depends. You know, whatever's wrong with it. Like I said, he didn't know know what was going on with it. Uh, finally, he said, well, you know what? He said he already bought a new one. I don't know if it was brand new, he didn't say, or if he just, to him, it was new. So he said, you're interested in it. I said, well, yeah, I'm interested in it. You know, we pulled it a couple times, didn't start. He said, what do you give for it? I said, well, I, I said, not much. You know, I'm into resale. I don't know what's wrong with this. It. it could have a scored piston. You know, I don't know. He said, is it worth five bucks to you? Tried to contain my excitement. <laughs> Anything to me is worth five bucks because the coil alone, if you know that's good, that's five bucks. If the carburetor's good, you know, I mean, <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, I'll take it. So I bought it for five bucks. Now, I don't know, I don't know if that's the issue or not. I'm kind of half scared to start it now. But let's see, maybe it'll run, maybe it'll be something else. But you would think, even though that was on there somewhat, it would arc a spark. So I'm going to trust this thing. So I know it's getting sparked to the plug. And he said that spark plug ran in his other saw. So that's telling me the plug's good. And I see it is getting fuel. So let's, um,. Try to start this puppy up. Right. So this thing, when you start these these older stills like this, I don't know how to do this. Here's your choke. You hold your, you pull your throttle all the way open, and you push your choke button down. That gives it throttle, and it's choked. Okay, and then of course when you choke okay I had it too far okay so then when you pull the throttle it pops itself off a choke so there's no primer on these ones so let's try let's see what we got here let's see if this is the if that was what was the issue or not we'll see I think I just fired could be flooded now. So let's take it off and choke. There it fired. Yeah. I love deals like that. And the moral of this story is, check everything. I mean, 
I just pulled it off of there and it, it popped off. Um, these things, this guy you can tell uses these things a lot. I don't know if he had a yard lawn service or what, but I mean, if you use them a couple times a year, change your spark plug every year. If you, uh, if you use it more than that, if you're using it all year, you say, let's say even if you use it once a week, change your spark plug twice a year. Um, because they will foul out because they burn oil because they're gas and oil mixed. So they can foul out. Um, so I think that was the issue all along. I just happened to pull a little harder. I don't know. Or it just got to where it was so loose when I pulled it off it came off. So if he'd have done it one more time that probably would have happened and he would have, I wouldn't have the saw because he would have just put it back on. So. Let's put this thing back together. Mm -hmm. Put the filter in. There's your choke deal right there. So put all the way down on choke. Slide this back on. Make sure all your lines line up. That's it. All right. Let's put a chain on here, see if it'll cut wood. All right, guys, I had to change the bar and the chain because that is not the right chain. So I used, I have an old bar and just an old chain, I don't know how sharp it is, that I had laying around. I put that on there. That should be alright. Now we're going to take it out see how well it cuts. Because sometimes these things once you get a load on them they won't uh, they don't like they'll like bog down if they've got a carburetor issue or something to that nature something of that nature. So I'm going to cut that piece of wood up right there or cut some of it. Alright guys, so there we go. Ran out of gas, but it seemed to be cutting pretty good. That chain was fairly sharp. I didn't think it'd be that sharp, but it cut through that uh, water oak pretty quick. If I sharpened it, it'd be a lot better. I think her dad's got an extra bar and chain at their place for his saw. Uh, I believe he's got a steel as well so I'll pick that up but in the meantime if I need this it'll be fine so this has now become my personal saw so anyways anyway guys like I said before check everything got lucky on this one very lucky once in a while you come across stuff like this uh, here lately I've been getting quite a few People just don't want to mess with things anymore. Um, they don't want to take time to look through it or they don't know how. Well, I can use the saw, but I don't know how to work on them, you know. And and that's fine, just like how many people can drive a car, but they can't work on them. It's, just, it's the same thing, you know. But these things, you they're so temperamental, I don't care. Brand new saw, you know. You're going to have to change a plug. You're going to have to adjust the carburetors on them. Uh, 
you know, you're going to have to do work. Uh, you're going to have to do stuff like that on them. Um, so, I'm pretty happy with it. So, I'm going to clean this up, and this will be my personal baby here. So, guys, thanks for watching. Wrenching with me here in the garage for a little bit today. Appreciate it. Yeah, I know I wasn't going to do any more today, but I thought, man, there can't be much wrong with this thing, you know. So, I wanted to go ahead and check it out. So, I've got one uh, processing right now. The one you'll see before this one. The one you just watched, I should say, for most of you. But, so, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Shea Bear, the myth, the man, legend. I'm gone for now. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe. Click the bell icon to get notified of more awesome videos like this. So, we'll see you guys soon. Um, well, we won't see you. You'll see us, or me. And uh, have a great weekend, guys.